Mr yeah. McConnell is travelling to Rossville to announce a very welcome €25 million Euro investment to help capitalise on our massive offshore energy opportunities. And while the Russians are, are holding the EU over a barrel regarding gas supplies, taming the EU approach not just to the Ukraine but to war games off our own coast, we in Ireland are sitting on enough offshore electricity to power over 64 million homes right across the European Union. But as I pointed out in our private member's motion, unanimously adopted by the Dáil on the 8th of December last, unless we take a strategic approach to developing all of our ports, we will never maximise this opportunity, nor drive down the cost of electricity for Irish families. So my question is, when will the government establish an offshore renewable development authority to drive a fully coordinated national action plan for our offshore energy sector? Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach. The Minister Eamon Ryan and indeed the government as a whole, and um, we're, we're very conscious of the extraordinary impact that offshore wind can have in terms of the economy of the West, in terms of meeting our energy needs into the future, but particularly that we will become a net exporter of, of electricity electricity and energy into the future, and then the use of hydrogen as well. And I think there's very significant uh, potential for the West Coast, for the South West Coast, as well as the East Coast, obviously, in terms of the exploitation of wind uh, into the future. Uh, and without question what the Ukrainian-Russian impasse uh, and the current crisis in energy prices reveals is actually the need to go for more renewables and do more on the renewable front. If you look at the European map, it's very, very clear we have to do more on renewables. Thank you, Taoiseach. And that's the entire... <coughs> Uh, focus of government right now.